Hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inglês no Cru Rádio. I am your co-host, guinea pig, the Brazilian one, Alexia, and I'm here with... Foster, the American one. <laughs> the American one. <laughs> Our daily basis of English. Our daily dose of English. Yes, our daily daily dose basis. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, yeah. It's so weird. Yeah, this is kind of strange, Alexia. We have... I know. <laughs> we have two things. So, in the beginning of English no Kuruhaju, we always said, this is your daily dose of English. And at the end of every episode, <laughs> we say, keep up the good fight and lose well. I don't know why I, I always say it wrong, both. And Alexia has started, for some reason, saying, keep up the good work. Yes, because you are the one who always, when you send us an email and you like the email, you're always like, ah, keep up the good work or good work. And I don't know why this stuck with me. Yeah, similar Makes phrases. Sense. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That is fair. So today, Alexia, we are continuing our conversation about a book I read called The Art of Noticing. And this is a very fun little book by an author named Rob Walker. And it is just full of little exercises and experiments about how to notice things differently, how to pay attention. Yeah. And today, we are talking about noticing when you are alone. So, about being alone. Okay. But what does he want to, us to notice? A lot of things. So, yesterday we talked about connecting with others. And this is about noticing things when you are alone. Because I think it can be, at least for me, it is very difficult when I'm alone, I want to just like close my mind and I listen to a podcast or something like that. So he gives a lot of fun little exercises to kind of change your experience when you're alone. Yeah. I think that people don't don't realize like when we talk, when we, talk, we say like being alone is not like, oh, I have one hour per day alone. That's so good because my life is crazy. It's not that is really to experience the moment that you were alone. Yeah. Um, and no, what I'm saying is that it's not like, ai, agora eu posso andar em casa de jeito que eu quero, posso tomar banho. It's not that. It's really, really going deep, deep into that. Deep. Deep. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, sure. Something like that. Can I give you the first exercise? Uh-huh. I really like this one. So he recommends... Being alone in public in a place that is really not, it's not that normal to be alone. Like going to the movies. Like going to the movies or Having eating. dinner, yeah. And I love this one because when I moved to Rio de Janeiro, I did not have any friends and I didn't really cook at that time in my life. So I went out to eat by myself pretty much every night. And it was awesome. <laughs> yeah. And in Rio, you can be friends with the waiter or waitress in two seconds. So I, I always like to go and eat something all by myself. I don't mind at all. Yeah. I did that here. I used to do that here a lot. Going to Pimenta Rosa, which is a restaurant next to our co-working, and eat all by myself. Or when I used to work at Porta. And I wanted to take a break from everyone and work and etc. I would always go all by myself as well. Yeah, I was going to say I loved just like watching people and listening to Portuguese. People watching is an amazing thing. Yeah, and one time I was eating at this tiny little sushi place right beside my house. And there was no one in there. It was just me and the sushi chef. And then Rafael Infantes. Infante. Infante. A comedian that used to work for Porta dos Fundos. It's, now it's back, yeah. Yeah, oh, cool. <laughs> But I was, I really liked him because I learned a lot of Portuguese in the beginning from Porta dos Fundos. And I was like, oh my God, this celebrity's in here. 
And then I recognized like, oh, Alexia works with that guy. <laughs> and then he sent me a message like, oh, Rafael Infante is here. And I'm, okay. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked to him, but that's fine. <laughs> yeah, so going out to eat. Uh, just one thing. Rafael is amazing, okay? Um, he's a really nice person. I love him. And I think he's extremely talented, just to make sure. Yeah. yeah, we saw his stand-up one-man show, and it was really, really funny. Yeah. Okay, can you think of other situations where you could potentially be alone? Uh, at the beach. For me, it was uh, the most amazing time of my weekend or my weekday when I could go to the beach all by myself and just listening to music. And maybe I wouldn't even bring my phone with me. And just being there and really, really like going to the sea and coming back like three times and spending one hour there. It was amazing. Yeah. Driving great. all by myself. I love driving all by myself. <laughs> well, normally when you're driving, that's not too strange to be driving alone. Usually shopping. I love to go shopping all by myself. Okay. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of shopping, but when I shop, no, but it can I be like grocery or like going for shopping to shopping for shopping. Going to shop? Yeah, sorry, <laughs> going to shop. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So do some things alone. It's normally not as scary or not as bad as it seems. Not for me, it's freedom most times. <laughs> Alexia is very excited yes. about this. <laughs> Okay, can I give you one more? Mm -hmm. I really, really loved this little experiment. And this actually comes from one of my favorite comedians, a an American comedian named Mike Birbiglia. Very crazy last name, Birbiglia. But he talked about this idea of making meetings with yourself. What do you understand from that? Like having a WhatsApp group with you and yourself? Uh, not and that crazy. And then you crazy. can send notes for you? Not that crazy. He was really referring to putting time like on your calendar for you to do something and no one else is involved. So he really used this to help him be more disciplined. It can be self-care. So in his case, he would say meeting with Mike at the cafe to work on my improv sketch. And then he goes to the cafe and he's like, I have a meeting with my mind. <laughs> and it's just a really different way to frame or it's a different perspective of getting work done by yourself. Yeah, that's very interesting because I know that Fabio, Fabio Porcha, uh, When he was going from Rio to São Paulo every time, he used to write all Porta's scripts um, in the airplane. Mm -hmm. A lot of mentions of celebrities yeah. that Alexia knows today. <laughs> and then, uh, um, and then he used to say something like, uh, "It's the only time that I have all by myself that my mind is fully, fully focused on writing." Yeah. Because, I mean, Fabio has a million things to do per day. And he had to travel almost every day from Rio to Sao Paulo, Sao Paulo, Rio. And it's like 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, and he could meet, meet himself there because there was no cell phone, no emails, no nothing. Yeah. So. I think that's kind of the point. He also talks about... A related idea of making meetings with yourself. There is a very famous book about creativity called The Artist Way. It's by Julia Cameron or Julie Cameron. Julia Cameron, I believe. And she has this idea of making artist dates. So essentially having like a date night, but with yourself doing something that you really like, probably related to like creativity. So, oh, on Tuesday night, I'm going to go on a walk in the park and listen to music. Or on Wednesday night, I'm going to go to an art gallery all by myself. That's very cool. 
Yeah, this is another thing that I love going to and I like to not be all by myself, but to experience all by myself, mostly museums. Mm -hmm. I love going to museums by myself. Yeah, I mean, we can go together, but we can go into the galleries that we like the most and then we meet at the end of it. Yeah. When I we love go, doing that. When we go to museums together, we don't really talk very much. No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, it's nice. So these are just a couple of ways, but I think it's really representative of when we are all alone, when we are by ourselves, that can be a little scary. So I think our tendency is immediately, okay, I'm going to get on my phone. I'm going to turn on the TV. I'm going to wash clothes. I'm going to clean the kitchen. But it's cool to do stuff by yourself. I love it. Yeah. So go out, make a date with yourself, make meetings with yourself to hang out and listen to podcasts, study English, go out to eat, treat yourself. Yeah. Self-care, people. The most important thing nowadays. <laughs> okay, Alexia, any last words about the art of noticing? Nope. All good. So keep up the good fight. And lose well. Bye.